Hi everyone, welcome to the video. So we are now at the end of Inktober and I'm getting back into recording normal videos. So uh, if you've been following Inktober, I've not been talking during the videos. It's just been like time lapses of, of my daily prompts um, and then doing like three prompts a video. But anyway, that is over now and um, I'm gonna do something I've not done before and I'm teaming up with my dear friend, Annie Claxton, or you might know her as Arty Farty Annie. I'm gonna leave a link to her below. Um, we are doing a trend that's been on YouTube and I think TikTok for a little while now. Um, but we decided we're going to do it together. We're doing it separately, but we're, we're kind of collaborating on it. And that is that we are going to, actually I'm going to tell you, uh, these are the, the pens I'm going to use. Okay, so I've got acrylic markers of varying. I've got Pintar, I've got Posca, I've got what the heck ever these are, uh, Karen Pigment Decker Brush. I, that pen's run out. Um, so, <laughs> that's the, yeah, so that's dried out. Anyway, so I'm going to put these to the side and I'm going to show you what I've got to draw on because it is not the standard thing. So let's get that out of the way and let's get this that i got from uh, i'm going to zoom out and you can see my light there as well uh, careful zoom here we go so i have been around the local if you're in the uk charity shops if you're in the us thrift stores um and i've got this i think it's a print i don't think it's a painting i'm not sure um a hundred percent on that i will know when i um oh hello there's me i will know more <laughs> when um when i've opened this up i've not cleaned it it's not feeling very nice to touch um because obviously it's, it's second hand it's it's not the best um but i'm gonna i'm gonna take it out of its frame um and i'm going to create ghosts i'm gonna put some ghosts over the top of it um and hopefully it's going to look good with the uh, paint markers. Um, and then when I've finished, um, I'm going to... So it's got one of these, like, mounts, border thingies. I'm going to paint that black. I'm going to do that with black. I've got a great big black Posca. Um, and then I, I need to get some spray paint or something. I'm going to decorate the frame, but I'm not going to do that in this video. So I'll come back in a couple of weeks... Um, for just a, like a little five minute here it is in the frame all finished um, just to show you guys but anyway so um, I've not actually received Annie's um, what do you call it I can't even talk I can't remember it's been so long as I've had to talk to people really apart from school the other day um, I, I, I've not seen Annie's um, print or whatever it is that she's found to draw on yet um, so I'm looking forward to seeing that um, but when I do get it I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna show it to you guys. In fact, okay, I'm gonna go. Here's here's Annie's now, and it's gonna flash up on the screen. Yay! So um, can't wait to see it finished. I can't wait to get this finished. I really struggled. I thought it would be really, really easy to get something like this, and I went to I can't even remember. I went to a lot of shops, and this was the only one I found in. Uh, it was the British Heart Foundation. It cost me six ninety nine or five ninety nine price on the back we'll see in a minute um but yeah i think we're gonna go with like a tree and a ghost in the foreground and i'm gonna try and in some like little ghosts like dotted around i'm not gonna go too mad on it, it i don't want to disguise the whole thing but so let us get on oh, let's get it out um because i know i need a knife it's been um taped into the back so let us turn it over. Here we go. Five, there's the price. Five ninety nine. Um, yeah, right. I'm going to cut this tape, um, and we can get in there. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to have to remove that wire. So let's just cut the tape together, and we'll get it out. And we'll have a look at it. Um, I, I absolutely loved seeing other people do this um on shorts and full length videos and i've wanted to do it for ages but i just i haven't had the time because of inktober um and like working and stuff so um i'm not i'm not a full-time artist so a lot of the time i have ideas that i can't i can't do straight away um but time now 
Okay, I mean, this is so old. That tape is just disintegrating anyway. So let's open these up. Good job I've got long nails. Okay. Let's see what we're really working with. I don't even know what this paper's going to be like. I, I might, I, I would quite like to use some fine liners. I'm going to have to do a test on that. Um, so, them up. So, sides are up. Top. And tape off from here. Like, the the glue on the tape's basically given up. It's, this is, I'd say this is at least, at least 10 years old. Okay, this is the bit where I find like loads of money stashed in the back of it, please. That would be good. Um, okay, can I get this out? No. <laughs> Have I got anything to lever it out with? Oh, God, it's a tight fit, I'll tell you that. Right, um, I've got, I've got a metal ruler. I don't think that knife I've used, I think it'll break, it's quite tiny. Right, this is what where the frame just breaks as well, isn't it? Right, here we go. Okay, so it might be an artwork. This artwork has been framed with pride. Oh, yeah, white. Might be an artwork. Can I draw paint on someone else's artwork? Oh, God, it is, isn't it? It's, it's I can't even get it out. Okay. Okay, that's not an artwork. <laughs> that's a print. Good. I feel less um I almost felt like oh god, I can't I can't um I'm gonna cut it out. I can't do this to an artwork. I can, it's not an artwork, it's a print, so that makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> Let's face it, I was gonna do it anyway. Um it would have been like a collaboration with a stranger, wouldn't it? Not just me and Annie, but a stranger as well. Okay. Let's, let's have a look at it. Yeah, it's... it's. Thank God, yeah, it is a print. I, I just... I felt a little bit sick then. I was like, oh, God. Uh, I'm going to be drawing on an artwork that's not mine. Okay. And then let's get this out because I'm going to paint this as well. There we go. So that's just this is just gonna get a coat of black. It's got a little goldy bit on there. I might um put that back in afterwards. Uh so we want those out and down there, down there, it's very carefully get that because that glass is loose. So I'm gonna put that over there. Okay, I'm back. Let's have a look. So, I've just lost the top of my... I can zoom back in now a little bit. We don't want to see my computer. There we go. So, it looks so much nicer out of that frame. That frame really, like... The colour just didn't seem as good. Right, okay. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause you because I need to take a photograph of this. Um, and then we will, I'm just going to go straight into a time lapse. And I'm just going to get on with it. Um, cause as you know, I babble a lot and, uh, I might stop and talk in various points. We'll see, but yes, let us catch up in a little while. I'm very excited about this now it's out and, uh, I want to get on with it.
Hello, welcome back. Oh, my paint brush is in shot. So it's finished and I've got it back into its like mount frame thing. Um, I really like it. <laughs> I think it's really cool. I didn't want to go too complicated. I would have loved to have found a piece that had like a building so I could make a haunted house or whatever. But like I, after going around several shops and and in the shop I got this from, it was the only one they had. I was like, I've just got to grab it. Um, but I think I'm going to have a look out throughout the year and, um, it might be a fun thing to do every, like, October around about Halloween. So I'm going to keep a look out for more, but, um, yeah, so I didn't want to overcomplicate it, uh, but I also didn't want to make it, a lot of people do them where they like look like they're part of the original painting and I kind of wanted to make it look like, I don't know, like, I know what I mean I can't really describe it like they're there but they're kind of not part of you know because they're obviously on another like astral plane or whatever so do you know what I mean I know what I mean anyway so this is what I come up with I can't wait to show Annie and I really really can't wait to see what Annie's done so um yeah I hope you like it um we're gonna we're gonna go and cut and talk to annie now and and we're gonna do the reveal so that's gonna be brilliant so i will i'll see you in a i can't remember what it's called <laughs> i can't even talk in a wow in a oh my god you're laughing right you're laughing i can't remember transition we're i'll see you in a transition and we'll see annie in a transition um yeah so uh and what, what I am going to say, actually, is I'm going to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Come say hi in the comments. Um, I really hope that I've inspired you guys to try this yourselves because it was loads of fun. I'm really glad it didn't turn out to be a real painting because I would have felt terrible painting on it. But um, I would recommend this. You don't even have to do ghosts. You could do it with anything, I guess. But, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Say come say hi. And, um, yeah, we're going to go and talk to Annie now. So bye from me for now. Hello, Zoe. Hello, you okay? <laughs> Zoe's got me on her screen and I've got Zoe on my screen. Well, we've got our desks. <laughs> we yes. can only see our desks. Our disembodied hands. And I am so excited to see what Zoe's is going to turn out like. Oh. So we're recording this after, our, after we finish both our pieces. And I will have just shown on my video, I will have just shown a picture of how Zoe's painting was before she started messing with it. And I'm so excited to see yeah. how it's so turned out. All <laughs> my viewers have got to try and remember what I showed at the beginning of my video. <laughs> <laughs> so always flick back and have a look. They I can, can yeah, they can rewind. It's fine if you can't yeah. remember, just go back and then just watch all the video again. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, not a problem. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to turn over first? Well, I don't I know. Me. I yeah. Okay, you're ready. Yeah, I'll probably drop it. Oh, can we do a drum roll? Are you drum ready? Roll. Yes, I'm very ready. Oh, God, this is too big. I'm going to whack the camera. <laughs> oh, wow. That is amazing. I don't want to show you mine now. <laughs> oh, I'm sure yours is better. But... Oh, my God, that is fantastic. I love the pumpkins as well. This is the thing, you know, we were saying earlier that I had issues with that they look fine in real life, but on camera they look like they're floating above the ground. Oh, it's it... clean. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's difficult on camera sometimes, isn't it? Mate, can you do you need to like give them a shadow or something? Yeah, oh, I might. I might give them a shadow later. Yeah. The yeah. trouble is, this card that this this print has been done on is a yeah. bit rubbish. Like, I did this. This is is it Posca? It's a little bit of Posca, and I think I used um oh what they call the pilot pinter, and yeah, they weren't happy about going on this card at all. Uh. Um, yeah. yeah, I needed a, a few less. Go on any surface. Yeah. Oh, Whatever is, this is coated yeah. in, they weren't happy about it, but I got there in the end. <laughs> I love the way they're going off into the distance there as well. I know. Brilliant. All about, and all staring at you as well. Yeah. Did you do anything to the tree? Is that tree, you've added that tree? I've added the tree, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so the tree that goes to the pumpkins. It just all merges. It goes, that looks like it was always part of the original painting, but it's a bit better yeah. than the original painting. It was a bit boring, that painting. <laughs> yeah, that is fantastic. I love it. Oh, thank you. Oh, um, It's your I turn now, I, Annie. I'll reveal mine now. I've still got a little... I've decided to go back in and do a little bit of something to mine, so it's not quite finished after all. Yeah. I'm afraid to turn it over now. I've got go on, go, go, go. It's going to be amazing. I know it is. 
It isn't. It isn't. <gasps> oh, wow! <laughs> what to say, just gone quiet. No, I love it! <laughs> now, I'm, what I'm going to do is, I've put, just take that off because I'm going to do black. Oh, yeah. Around the edges to darken it all up a bit. Yes. And then I'll, do, then I'll peel the tape off. Yeah. So now, now I've done the reveal, I can start doing that. Do that, yeah, while we're talking. It's, I use this. Um, have you seen this stuff? Aqua, no, what's that? Well, it's it's meant to. It, it makes like a a uh, like a surface that's suitable for watercolors and oh. onto anything like wood, card, and and paper, anything like oh, that. Oh, that's handy. And this is really cheap rubbish paper. You can see how thin it was. Yeah, I wanted to use watercolor and gouache on here, so. Mm. I did a, a coat of this. What I forgot was this isn't the transparent one, it's the white one. So you can see it's given this white misty effect everywhere. Yeah, I like that though. And then I used these out kind of over the top to give a bit of colour. Yeah. Because this was all black and white. Yes. Yeah, I, I remember it was very cool. black and white, wasn't it? And the, and on the camera, I can't see on my screen now, but on the camera, on my camera anyway, it looks very very red this and in fact yeah. in real life it's more deep cherry kind of color. oh okay not... looks really good though i really yeah. like how you because mine are really much like i didn't want them didn't want to go for i was trying to look like it was like another ash like a different plane yeah do you yeah. know what i mean whereas yours yeah. look more like they're in the world with the girl the... yeah yeah whereas mine yeah. look like it is like a separate plane of existence almost which is kind yeah. of yeah yeah yeah. I kind of wanted the girl to look a bit like maybe she's a ghost herself. And yes. really, I, I've gone away a little bit from the the general um the general thing of this trend, haven't I? Because like you shouldn't really have a little I like I've spookified her face a little bit and that. Yeah. But really it should be more like the almost cartoony ghost, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Oh, I mean you can do what you want, can't you? Really? Yeah. That's my picture. And it's... In the end I thought she's got such a spooky little face. So <laughs> little girl. Which is probably long dead now because that was quite an old looking photo. It does look like an old photo, doesn't it? Oh, I think yeah. it's amazing. Oh, that's better with a bit of dark around it. I think. Yeah, it's like the, uh, I forget what it's called now, but you have like the dark red round photographs. The, um, I couldn't remember, Tom reminded me, it's vignette. That's the one, yeah. Yeah. So oh, look, I've just, I'm such a brat. Look, I've gone over the. Oh, you could trim that, couldn't you, and remount? It. Hey, it was really fun to do this, though, wasn't it? It is a fun, it is a fun thing, yeah. Yeah, and pretty quick. I mean, anybody could have a go at it. Oh, I don't know. Mine took me ages. Did it? Yeah, like an hour and a half. And it doesn't. It's like, what did I do in an hour and a half? But it was just because I've had. I literally had to. Every time I put paint down, I had to dry it. And they um, layer up then. Yeah, because it it just uh, like the they didn't want to go on properly. They were staying quite translucent, so yeah, it was yeah. several layers. And then I did use a bit of coloured pencil on top as well. But you've got to bear in mind, though, Zoe, for you, you're saying an hour and a half is a long time. That's a long time for me. Yeah, for, for me, that's pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm extremely slow at working. Whatever it is, I'm always slow. Yeah, that's better. That's better. I might still do a bit of coloured pencil over. Yeah. I've got another um. A big painting I've been saving for, I've had it for several years, and it's gone all faded. It's like a sea scene with these people in the front in a boat, and it reminds me a bit of Cornwall. And I'm, yeah. I, it's gone all faded, and I was going to chuck it, and then I thought... Oh, yeah, I you could, could do something, yeah. I could repaint that. Yeah. So I to think about that again. I could put like a... I've always thought I'd put mermaids or sea monster or something in the background. Oh, absolutely. Choppy sea. So I might try it again. Would you do it again? Oh, do you know what I was? I was just thinking when I was doing this that it would be a nice thing to try and do maybe every October. Yeah, yeah. Make it make it a tradition for the thirty first. Yeah, and I, I think yeah. I'll just have a look whenever I pass a charity shop. Now, I'll just have a look inside and see what I can find. Yeah, and like when, keep when, it when half the world isn't also looking for <laughs> exactly because <laughs> it was really hard to find something suitable yeah it was it? yeah yeah <laughs> public public thank you to tom for helping us do this yes we just it out by ourselves yes thank you to our tech genius because yeah we wouldn't <laughs> have had a clue how to do this yeah. bit would we no oh, no i do love that so i think that is brilliant yeah good fun oh, wasn't it i love yours love as well it. yeah okay yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's it. That's all we need we'll to do, to isn't it? Say bye to everyone, and then we can just yeah. carry on talking afterwards. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. <laughs>